Growing up and, and being close enough to visit the games and see what the culture is here and what Spartan Athletics really just has to offer, was, it, it was an unbelievable experience. I, I mean, I looked forward to every weekend that we could come down here, we did. I usually knew every single person on the roster. I was, I was the little kid waiting to get their autograph after the game and just delighted to see them and have an interaction with them. Um, made me definitely made me feel special that's for sure she's been involved with volleyball since the day she was born she grew up coming in a car seat and sitting in a car seat in the stands she got to interact and play with the girls and the, uh, the girls you know treated her like a, a little sister her love for volleyball she just honed right in on that when she was young and i was coaching high school volleyball at corona she would sit on the bench, she always wanted to be in drills, she wanted to be on the bench and learn the game side of the sport and would really study it. And when we would come to games at Michigan State, she would want to talk about what type of offense they were running, so she was very cerebral about the sports. Hey mom. What? Um, after painting, I need to play my volleyball. We can play volleyball. Check your thumbs. There we go. Ready? Yep. Good one! I remember being in, not small enough to be in the little, little kids camp, but being too young to be in the overnight camp. And I begged and begged to go to the overnight camp. And Kathy eventually let me, every year from then on, I was, my dad signed me up for every single camp. So I got 12 t-shirts every year. I got 12 posters. My favorite player was Katie Johnson. She was an outside hitter, um, number 11. Her picture is up in the rafters up in the gym out there. I think it was the excitement. You know, there's always a lot of energy at games, and I think she aspired to be uh, an athlete that could perform at that level, and so I think in her mind, she was thinking this could be me someday. And she was just always enthusiastic about going and watching any sporting event. I knew I wanted to play at a high level of volleyball in college, around eighth grade. She was talking about this was going to be her vehicle to go to college. And I said, that's not why we're doing this. We're doing this because you love volleyball. And I don't expect that from you. Your dad doesn't expect that from you. And she said, well, I expect it of myself. And so she was very self-motivated and just embraced the hard work that she knew it was going to take to get there. You know, you don't want to place high expectations on your children and you don't want to set their goals too low, but those were Meredith's goals and we just did the best that we could to facilitate them. We got to know Meredith early on as her, her dad is a team doctor for Michigan State Volleyball and, uh, you know, so they were at everything, every single camp. You know, we saw both Mary and Elizabeth and, and uh, they were, you know, just growing through the program and we got to see them and see how they were able to compete um, in, those, in those camps and we enjoyed having them there, but we got to know them quite a bit. I've watched her grow up and strive for this dream and when she, when she started to see that it could happen, I just tried to keep her grounded and uh, help her make the best decision that she could. I think it was always in the back of her mind that this is home. October of sophomore year, I knew that I wanted to come here and I knew that the level of play that this is, is where I wanted to be. I can't really say it other than how, how proud I am of, of her and, uh, and knowing how hard she's worked along the way uh, to be able to, uh, to make this dream of hers uh, a reality. She had a goal at an early age and just made a commitment that this is what I want. She's very self-motivated and very self-disciplined. She has the athleticism, she has the knowledge, she has a lot of that package, but if she didn't have that internal drive, she wouldn't have made it this far. You're in this community, you watch Michigan State um, through all of the sports, you know, you're, you want to be a part of that whole, the whole thing. And uh, Meredith has come through that, and so there was high expectations for her. She has uh, learned to take that in stride. I mean, it's overwhelming at first, and she's, she's taking that more in stride, and she's developing her game as a well-rounded player. Um, and, and it's been awesome to watch her grow and develop and mature and uh, just take that, like I said, one step at a time and keeping it in perspective. 
I accomplished my first dream and that was to, to be able to get here. It was so surreal. Uh, I, I don't think I really grasped it all at first because I was like, I'm here, first of all, like this is awesome. And when I first put, put on that jersey in Italy and actually got some decent playing time, it, I was definitely nervous for sure, I won't lie about that. And But they definitely gave me the confidence and the the strength I needed to pull it out and just show everyone that like I'm here for a reason and I can do this. Being on the court finally and, and proving to everyone what I can do, it, it is surreal and I'm just very thankful for the opportunity because I I kind I can finally show everyone what how hard I've been working and what I can do. All of those little girls out there having seen that it can be done, that you can go to a small school in the middle of Michigan, and, and sure, it, there are sacrifices that you make. She you know, missed some dances, or she um, gave up an opportunity to go to the movies sometimes because she had practice. That joy and excitement that she carries onto the court um, is worth it, and it's, it's obtainable. It's possible. When little girls come up and ask me where I'm from and they're from a neighboring school, just trying to interact with them and connect with them um, because I know that makes their day because it made my day when I was in their place and in their shoes. Yeah,